hello friends welcome to my channel so in today video we are gonna learn how to integrate uh, this text editor in angular application so for today video we are gonna use tiny mce this text editor so basically it's an open source this text editor that you can use uh, to format the content in your application so let's get started guys so first of all uh, you need to install uh, this package from the nugget package manager so to do so we need to go to inside the terminal so from the terminal you can open the new terminal in your visual studio code and uh, type this command so npm install uh, dash dash save tiny mc and tiny mc slash tiny mc angular so these two packages basically tiny mce and tiny mce angular we need to install to use this uh, editor in our angular angular application so let's install this package so now as you can see the package is installed so the next step is we need to register this package in our uh, app.module.ts file so inside the source uh, you can see we have one folder named app so once you open the app folder expand the app folder you can see we have an, a file named as app.module.ts so just open this file and here in the import you need to import this package so let's import this so yeah here you can see we just imported this package and one more thing we need to add we need to add one provider also so we're gonna add one provider named tiny mce script src so these two one is import like package and one is provider we need to add in our app dot module and uh, we also need to uh, register here also like in the imports property so just type editor module and as this is a provider we need to provide the value inside the provider property so just like this So here you can see in the app.module file we have imported these packages like editor module and this provider and the editor module we have uh, like registered in the import property and the provider we have registered in the provider property okay so once we're done with this uh, now we need to uh, go to the angular.json file so inside this angular.json file you can see we have two more properties like we have uh, one property here assets and the script so inside this property also we need to provide some value so in the asset asset property we need to uh, register this tiny mc so just like that you need to just uh, add one more property like you need to add the value for the tiny mc inside this asset property also so here we have added the path like the module path and what is gonna be the output and all and in the script we need to provide the uh, like javascript path from where uh, the rich text editor is going to use their code for all the plugins and all just like that yeah so once we're done with both this configuration we are good to use this uh, rich text editor in our application so all you need to do uh, is uh, go to your app.component.ts file so here we are and inside this file we need to create one configuration variable so yeah here you can see so we have created one configuration variable and uh, we need to provide this property inside of this variable 
so base property is going to be slash uh, tiny mce suffix is always gonna be dot dot min and this plugin is the list of plugins that you want in your uh, restrict editor so basically plugins are the features that you require in this text editor so right now as you can see we have taken the list link image table word count so these are the like plugins that we are telling our editor like we require those so uh, hmm. so now uh, go to your app.component.html file and just add the editor element over here so just like this and you need to provide that configuration that we just created in the app.component file inside this attribute so for the init attribute we need to provide this property like this variable configuration variable now just uh, save the application like save the whole file and try to run the application and let's see what we are getting from this configuration so to run the application we need to uh, write the command and this ng serve so this command is going to build the application and uh, open the application in a browser so just wait for a second so yeah here you can see uh, our application is compiled successfully here uh, uh, compiled successfully and uh, and uh, yeah the browser is open and here you can see we got the editor so we got the restrict editor so here we can you can as you can see uh, we have provided all these plugins right we have tell the editor that we require these plugins so uh, here you can see we have all these plugins i guess like uh, if uh, so in the insert yeah here you can see in the insert we got tables right we got some link image right so uh, we got all the features that we asked for so suppose let's try to remove the table from the list and see and try to check like what's going to be happen so I just remove the table I'm saving the application so yeah our application compiled again uh, the browser is refreshed so now if we try to check the table so here you can see the table is gone so basically in this plugins property we need to specify all the plugins that we require in our application so let's bring the table back and uh, so in this restext editor you can customize this restext editor completely so if you want uh, this menu section then you can keep otherwise you can get rid of it so to remove the menu section you just need to write add one more property like menu bar and need to set is false and if uh, you make it false and save the application just wait for a while yeah here you can see now the menu bar is gone okay so now uh, we require suppose uh, we require some of the features some of the menu bar so how we can uh, do that so like uh, if you want to remove like all the menu bar and just require one or two you just simply need, need to uh, write those menu bars names like this we require so right now we require file we require insert okay so we're gonna just keep two menu bar so I just mentioned these two and press save so here you can see okay file was it it's file or file i think then this name file is uh, wrong something wrong with this name okay 
okay we no need to uh, provide the comma actually we are doing one mistake we have added the comma so here you can see so we can in this way we can customize this menu bar uh, not just the menu bar we can also customize these toolbars so if you like right now in the menu bar oh sorry in the toolbar you can see we don't have any tables option right we don't have any image option and we have lots of option that we don't require so we can also customize this so to customize you know you need to use another property toolbar and if you want to just remove the toolbar completely you need to set as false so here you can see the toolbar is gone but if you want the toolbar and uh, you want some specific tools to be displayed to the user then you can just simply write those tools name like those plugins name that you require inside the toolbar so right now we're gonna keep these these four like I'm telling the editor we don't want the extra stuff we just require these four so let's save the application hmm so here you can see uh, okay uh, the list is not there for some reason i think there's some issue with the list plugin there will not worry we will fix that later but here you can see uh, the plugins that we have uh, given in this toolbar we are getting here so now you can directly get access to these plugins while the toolbar toolbar right you can add images and all the things you can do so uh, in this way you can customize your district editor completely as per your application requirement so uh, for today video that that is all guys uh, if you like the if you like the video please hit the like button please share the video and subscribe to my channel so thank you guys thank you bye bye